Hi, and welcome to yet another B1UP Tips and Tricks session. Today I will do a live transformation uh, of a SQL report uh, into a dashboard, or kind of dashboard, uh, that you will still use as a SQL report, but in order when you do this, you can make it much more cool. Um, so let's go into business one and let me show you what I'm talking about and hopefully without too many mistakes, uh, do the transformation. So here I have a small report that just shows some invoices. And uh, while this is really, really nice to have, it's uh, it's a bit boring. Um, and boring might be good in some cases, uh, but if you want to be able to do things like a little, a little more graphical interface on this, uh, better coloring, uh, syntax highlighting, and, and all kinds of things, uh, it might be better to use a dashboard for the same reason. So let me show you the SQL behind this. And it's a fairly simple SQL. I will take it here so I have it. And again, my report can be run from here. I can, of course, all also just go in and add it to my dashboard as a SQL report here, choosing my report and see the same data here. But again, a bit boring to look at, a bit dull. So if you want more advanced stuff, let's try to do that. So what I will do is I will actually make a dashboard widget. So I will call it Alternative SQL report. And SQL report is in quotations. It's not a SQL report, but I will try to mimic doing the same thing as a SQL report can do. So let's go in here. And the first thing I will do is I will just take my SQL and paste in here. And the only thing I will do is I will make this navigationable by saying as AR invoice number. This is documented in the navigation part of the manual. So uh, go there in order to see why I'm doing this. So we have our data and let's make something that looks like the SQL report. Let's have a look at it here while we're doing it. And let's put on a grid because it's the same thing. Let's call it my report like this. And let's drag in that we need the number. We need the code. We need the name. We need the date and we need the total. And in order for this to actually be a list, we need to go in here and instead of a measure, make them into dimensions because then they become real numbers. And the same for our total down here. So we have this. We will quickly go in and give them names. So this was number. This was customer, this was customer name, this was the date, and this was the total. And the date right now is just showing as the year, so we want to go in and say have the exact date. And we want to go in and format this a bit, so it will be numbers with ones and two separate decimal places. This one over here had a total, so let's do that as well. We go in, right click and say add total. Like this. So let's save this and take our button. And instead of a SQL report, we will turn it into a dashboard instead. 
and we want to use the alternative SQL report and we want to call it my report. Okay. Don't care about this. It doesn't matter because we're not using parameters for this. So if we do this and run this, we get something kind of same and plain here. We have uh, two headers. Let's take care of that in a bit. And the only drawback of making it a dashboard is that you can't have the golden arrows, but you can double click and do exactly the same as a golden arrow would be. Go to the invoice or go to the business partner. So that's the options we have. So let's see what we can do more because now that it's a, it's a dashboard, we have much more options. So let's go into our dashboard again and do some more customizations. First up, let's get rid of this double text by saying show caption, get rid of that. And then we could, for example, go in and have a small pie chart, for example. So we could go in and see the different uh, invoices by year, how, uh, what years was the best performing one uh, in the system. Let's just make it a top five. So we're only seeing that. Let's get rid of this label and say top five years. And total. So this is not the main part we want, but we want to have it over here. And we also want to make something similar to this, which is the top five part, uh, customers as well. With their total, and instead of uh, Duck date year, we just drag in the card name and we want to have it as top five as well. And let's include another. So now we have who's the top customers. So you can put things like that and all the different uh, options as you have. But what about the grid itself? Well, we can go in and do a uh, Things like, for example, we can go in and make a format rule and say we want to have a bar in here and we want to have it be as big as what the different, uh, the different options are here. So we can see what is the biggest of the invoices in a more graphical way. We could also go in and say that's not what we want, but we want to show conditional data. So let's, ex for example, say everything that is above 10,000, we want to show in a different way. So we can go in and make an expression and say, when doc total is greater than 10,000, let's make it red. And apply that to the row, or let's make it a, let's make it green because it's a good thing that they are big. So we can see now it highlights the ones that are over ten thousand. Let's make more conditions here, like for example, if all the ones that are less than, let's say, one thousand, let's have an icon indicating that that was a bad deal. Let's make it this one. So they are being more highlighted into this. So if we save this, go back and run the report, we now have a much more interactive SQL report in quotations here because we have all the uh, conditional coloring and so on that a normal uh, SQL report, because it's a, a Windows 
screen uh, or SAP screen. It's not possible to do some of the more advanced stuff, but you can do that with dashboards and in this way actually get a lot of cool information about something that needs to draw the attention of the user in instead of this. There is, as always, things that you can do, like select back with the SQL report. You can't do this with this. So it's when it's you're actually using it as a report, this is the uh, the better uh, the better way of doing this. If you want to use the old way, of course you can. But I'm just trying to inspire you into there are more options to actually show more cool reports in this. So with that. Thank you for attending this session and I hope it was beneficial.